In its attempt to court U.S. buyers, Volkswagen has tried on size big, the spacious, made-for-America versions of the Jetta and Passat sedans, and size tall, the Tiguan and Touring SUV S. Both approaches have found mixed success on our shores. Now VW finally has figured out that we Americans like our cars big and tall. A renewed SUV push is now underway to try to make up for lost time, starting with the three-row Atlas and continuing with the second-generation Tiguan that's considerably bigger than its Eurocentric predecessor. The new Bigger TIG now is one of the largest entries in the compact crossover segment, with its 185.1-inch length exceeding the old Tiguan's by nearly an entire foot and eclipsing key rivals such as the Honda CR-V, the Toyota RAV4, and the Nissan Rogue. Long and strong we're getting the long wheelbase version of the new Tiguan in the States, there's a short wheelbase version already on sale in Europe, and it's capacious enough that VW saw fit to offer a third row of seats, a rarity in this class. The Rogue and the Mitsubishi Outlander are the only other crossovers this size that can lay claim to 7-passenger capacity, and those claims are dubious, as anyone who has tried to stuff a passenger over 5 feet tall into the third rows will understand. As in the size XL Atlas, the Tigman's packaging is a strong suit. Yes, the third row works best as a kids-only zone, but adults will fit in a pinch. The roomy second row is an especially nice place to spend time. It reclines, slides fore and aft, and features well-sculpted padding in addition to air vents and a USB port. All front-wheel drive Tiguans come with seven seats, but the third row is a $500 option on all-wheel drive models. Blame the feds for that weird anomaly, front drive models need the third row in order to be classified as a light truck. All-wheel drive versions don't. 